But I'm always inspired when I see what young people are doing to make a difference in their communities across Africa. I recently met two such people who were chosen for the Queen's Young Leaders Award this year. Tanzanian Isaya Yunge created Soma Up. It's a mobile app which is revolutionizing how scholarships are offered in Africa. And Zambian Gift Chancer was recognized for the work he is doing to transform the lives of disadvantaged young people using his circus skills. So I, you know, I grew up in a compound. It's, a no, it's known to be a notorious compound uh, in Lusaka. So if you came and you asked uh, the do's and don't, they'll say don't go uh, to Chibodia. So that's where <laughs> I come from. And, you know, growing up, uh, coming from that compound, uh, wasn't easy because nobody took you seriously. Every time you went somewhere, you say, I'm from Chibodia, and people would hide their phones <laughs> because they would think you're, you're a criminal, you've come to steal. And, and you know, we, we started because we wanted to change uh, the narrative. Now, circus is something new I haven't had before in terms of social, uh, you know, social skills training, but also in education. What's mm. your story? Uh, Seca Zambia equips young people with circus training, uh, life skills, social skills, and we support with uh, uh, school scholarships and extra tutoring, and we offer job opportunities through Secas. Yeah, it's, uh, let me bring you in here, because the issue of uh, scholarships, when people hear about this, a lot of young people on the continent will be thinking, I would really, really like to get a scholarship to go and study, you know, higher education. I wonder why most don't know about opportunities like the ones you're trying to create with your app. First of all, you know, every year, three billion in free money for scholarship goes unclaimed in Africa. Always people in this marginal, marginalized community they think scholarship are for people in urban cities, people mm -hmm. who have privileges. And access. But they're for yeah. everyone. Mm -hmm. So we, I came to learn the problem is no one has access to computers. But here's interesting that the use of mobile phone is increasing in Africa. Almost every household, there's one person with a smartphone. Yeah. And, and that's an opportunity for us to use that. And what we do with Summer Up, we go to high schools, we go to universities and talk to students, talk to parents. The second challenge was that young people in Africa, they don't know how to apply for scholarship. Most of them, they talk, they talk themselves down. They think scholarship are for those with the highest DPA, oh, highest, 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 highest grade in high yes. schools. But sometimes scholarship providers are looking for uh, visionaries, pioneers. They want you to have a purpose. L last year, 500 students won scholarship. I was going to ask up. you that because have people now applied? Have people embraced this? We have so many requests to expand in Africa at the moment. Mm. People are saying, can you, can you open in your country, Zambia, Kenya, Nigeria, Botswana, Malawi? So there's a thirst, there's, there's a thirst, thirst across the continent. Yes. And your app is, uh, can resonate across the continent. Yes. That's fantastic. All right, so there's a young man watching you now and they're asking themselves, and this is for both of you, yeah. where do I start? I need to earn a living, but I'm in an environment that is probably or perceived as not as conducive as it should be because that is the reality on yeah. the continent, really. Yeah. What would you tell them? What would you tell them, Sam? I mean, this is what, I met a man, his name is called Isaac Malonga. He's a man of God. He told me a very powerful story which changed my life, how, how I assist things. He told me that every day when you wake up in the morning, mm. your voice is a solution. Look around you, in your house, in your family. What is it that you can do to solve the challenges facing yeah. your, your family, yeah. your community? Mm. And I'm saying to people, we, we use mobile phone not only for communication and games. A mobile phone is a powerful tool and device Let's use a mobile phone to think, what can you do with a smartphone to help your community? Um, someone asked me a question once in Zambia and, and said, what, you know, what comes into your mind when you start speaking to someone about Zambia? And then I was saying poverty, uh, you know, like no school, no visa. And then you were saying gift, become part of the solution, yes. you know, look for solutions and, and, and be part of that and, and, and change the narrative. And, and now I believe that's the only way we can change the, the narrative if we become the part of the solution. Yes. Inspiring young men there.